Boy, what a great book. I like this one a lot. Oh, hey, guys. What's going on? You caught me off guard here reading. Okay, actually, you didn't. I'm a bad actor. Sorry. I thought I'd... I tried... See, it's a scene where I tried to look like I was reading a book, and I wasn't, but okay, never mind. Anyways, uh, welcome to another Cartooning Courses. And today, what I wanted to talk about, um, fellow cartoonist you, is uh, some books that I recommend reading. If you love cartooning, um, yes, traditional books are great to have, and there's some really good insight in a lot of them. I have a ton of books, ton. Um, I would show you my bookshelves, but... Um, yeah, I can't go over all those because there's like hundreds. <laughs> so what I did today, I grabbed a few that I've had for a long time. Some of them I've had for a long time. Some of them are fairly new, I'd say. Um, I have a little pile here. You can't see it, but I'm going to pull these out and show you, recommend a few books that I refer to, I've read as a cartoonist, and I think they're really good. Um, I think they're good books. And what I'm going to do at the end of this video and also below in the uh, description area, I'll, I'll put links to where you can get them on Amazon or wherever you want. And uh, the titles too, just so that you don't have to keep watching me over and over, drink coffee and read a book. Deal? Okay, cool. So um, yeah, the first one, this one here is really good. Um, it's called Cartooning, The Head and Figure by Jack Ham. It's a very old book, old school. Uh, this was published in, gosh, uh, I don't want to take too much time here. 1967, uh, looks like, is when this came out. But what I love about this book, and I still refer to this book to this day, is like all they have all the different postures, poses. Um, everything's kind of laid out with different kind of kind of outfits. I know these aren't modern outfits, but like you know, women poses, guy poses, noses, hands, gestures. Everything's in this book. Uh, it's really awesome. And I have, I've had this for, I don't know how long, um, the longest time in the world, but it's a good book to have, uh, just to go refer to different things. When you, when you, you're, you're drawing and you think in the back of my head, your head, ah, oh, how do I draw that hand like this? Or like, you know, without looking at your hand, uh, this book will probably have it in it. It's definitely a good reference book to have for cartooning. Another book, it's not a cartooning book, but it's a really great um, book on just like the creative habit on like how how do creatives go about their day, how to, you know, be a creative basically and survive and, you know, know that you're not alone and you, you go through this this world as a, as a creative person, a creative cartoonist. And this book I really enjoy is Twyla Tharp. She wrote it. Uh, it's called The Creative Habit. Learn it and use it for life. And it's just about... In general, like the title says, creating habits too. Like um, I've always been, I well, if you've taken my uh, my course already, you know I always advocate like habit is essential. Like you got to get in a drawing habit, you got to get in a writing habit, you got to do all this to be. I know, it sounds complicated, but it's not. Once you get in that habit of doing things, um, it's great. That's how you become a cartoonist. You got to draw, 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 write, 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 submit, submit, submit. There's a lot of pro there's a big process to it, but this book goes over a lot of that. Um, she's an awesome she's choreographer for the. I don't want to mess up the name here. Sorry, Twyla. I'm not good with specifics, but for it um, in New York City for the ballet, and I for, I just forget if it's a specific like ballet company, but she's big. She uh, choreographed the uh, like ballet dancing in the movie Amadeus, one of my favorites, and I'm not into ballet at all. I'm not. But uh, it doesn't matter. She's a creative person, and it's a great book. Great to um, to hear her story. This one too. This is an oldie but a goodie. Um, it's called On Writing Well. Definitely a good one by William Zinzer. I hope I don't mess up his name. But um, this book has been around for a long, long time. You may have heard of it. I know a lot of writers definitely recommend it, and. Uh, it's good. It goes over just writing in general, and that's something. Again, I've always said like cartooning is writing mostly more than art. Um, it teaches you how to write well, and you know I, I make I have typos every single day and uh, things like that. But this book is a good reminder, like you know mistakes happen and how to how to do the best you can writing. You know you're not going to be perfect. I'm definitely not, but um, I find I find a lot of useful information in this. He's got a section on here about humor writing, even, um, but very worth having, just as a reference to check out. And I think it'll it'll get your mind going um, 
with um, with how to write. Stephen King wrote one too, kind of like that, uh, which I'd recommend. Check that one out. Just look it up. Look up Stephen King's book on how to write. Um, really good. I'm a big Stephen King fan, but I think this one is definitely more uh, well known and probably probably a little bit more useful just for the different topical things he goes into. So that's a good one. This one here is good too. Um, it's called Cartooning, The Art and the Business by Mort Gerberg. And um, this is a beast of a book. It's, it's a little, put it this way, I want to say it's a little outdated. It is because it talks about like the old submission processes and things like that. But, 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 but if you think in the back of your head, like the modern way of going about it, the book still has a lot of good insight in it. Um, there's a lot of illustrations, uh, cartoons about, you know, it, just, it gets your mind thinking about submitting and drawing and writing and everything. And it's really well, I mean, it's a huge book too. It's really well put together. Um, a lot of great, great comics in it. And, um, even goes into animation back here, like storyboarding and stuff like that, which is awesome. So yeah, check this one out too. Um, I bought this a long time ago. I wouldn't mind reading it again at some point. And oh, this one, my daughter drew on the back of that. How cool is that? Her and her scribbles. She's three, so happens. But um, yeah, really a cool book there too. Uh, this book is, again, not not essential for cartooning, but I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. It's How to Be Like Walt. I'm a big Walt Disney fan. Um, this is by Pat Williams. And uh, what I love about Walt is just the fact that, you know, he started, he basically started off as a cartoonist and he, um, you know, he, he was in Kansas City and, you know, not much happening there. And he just took his ideas and brought them to life and you know, he wasn't born into cartooning or anything or the animation. He, he had to go through a lot to, uh, to get to where he was. And he experienced such major failures and blunders. Um, you know, he put all his money and everything into like Snow White, for example. I don't want to give away too many spoilers. You may have heard the story already. But like he put all his money into Snow White. And if that would have failed, he would have been broke. And just there's stuff like that. But he kept going. And, you know, he did have a lot of failures with his 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 uh movies and he had a a strike at his studio at one point and just like building up the whole studio and how you know mickey mouse came about and everything is just such an inspiration i mean who hasn't heard of walt disney you know uh and i and i just think it's there's a lot of cool little elements in this book um some of it gets a little preachy sometimes but it's it kind of talks about how to kind of have his mindset and kind of what he went through and um I don't. I just enjoyed it. I think it's a fun read too. It just it went. It was. I read this in just uh, a few days, uh, which is rare for me. It usually takes me a while to read a book. So recommend this one as well. Last but not least, this is one of my newest ones. Um, it's How to Read Nancy. It's called. Uh, it's by Paul Karasik and Mark Newgarden. Um, let's see if I can get this all on tape here. Okay. Yes, it's a big book. It's big. I can't even see my head. Hey. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a cool, it's about, uh, it's got the, the subtitle is the elements of comics in three easy panels and it talks about like how it's one Nancy strip that they use as an example and how it, why it works as a comic. Um, so it goes into everything from the panels to the sketching to why the gag works, why it's funny, why the, the art, is good um and it breaks everything down and then um you know it gives a little backstory on nancy as well and how it became a, a comic you know nancy just got a reboot recently but this is all about the old school nancy comic which i was never never into or anything like that it's not about i you know the book isn't about like Nancy per se. It's about just knowing the elements of a comic strip and how to piece it together. And a really good book. Um, really good. I highly recommend buying this. It's just cool to read, cool to check out. And I think you'll really appreciate what goes into those three small panels. And, um, you know, you can always, anyone that gives you a hard time about being a cartoonist, you can, you know, sock it to them and, and, and mention all that goes into that. Um, it's not easy to do three panels or one or five or, you know, thousands uh, and create compelling work. And this book really kind of talks about that. 
So those are just what? One, two, three, four, five, six examples. Six examples of good books. Again, I have thousands of books here. Um, you know, off the top of my head, I'll just mention like, you know, read stuff like Mad Magazine is great with for cartooning. Um, there's things like uh, joining the National Cartoonist Society. They have a, a publication that comes out every couple months, which talks about cartooning. I mean, there's all kinds of resources out there. Obviously, the internet. But these are books. Um, these are books that I personally recommend. I've read. I, I, I like them. I think they're good. And uh, I think you would, too, being a cartoonist. Um, so check them out. And um, what are you reading? Do you have any books you'd like to recommend to me? Maybe I haven't read them yet. Um, there's a lot I haven't read. I know that for a fact. So yeah, if you have any good recommendations, let me know. Uh, maybe it's more about the business of cartooning that that's out there. I know there are some um, like art books that talk about business and things like that. Uh, maybe it's something else. Um, I got one the other day about the animation of uh, Kung Fu Panda. Um, somebody gave it to me as a gift. The art in that, and that's really good too. I just I haven't read it yet, so I can't recommend it yet. But uh, there's so many books out there, uh, a lot of resources, but. Um, yeah, I just want to share those with you. I I, I, th I think they're good. Again, I'm not going to repeat myself. <laughs> good books. They're great. Uh, so yeah, and if you have recommendations, I'd love to hear them. Leave a comment below. And again, I'm going to mention there's a big, brand new course coming out soon. It's going to be, I'm very proud of it. This is like my, uh, what do you call it? Um, I don't know. It's my, I've been working on this for months. I'd say years almost, putting it together. It's my Sergeant Pepper. Put it that way. It's going to be about the business of cartooning, creating cartoons that sell, um, actually gaining profits off of them. I mean, in a much, much more broader way than my free uh, three-part course. Uh, it's going to expand on all that, like in a non-overwhelming way, but just huge. So I'm working on that. So stay tuned for uh, news on that coming out eventually. So it's not going to be out. It'll be out soon, but not. you still have time. And also, hey, if you haven't taken my free three-part course, definitely check that out. Uh, just click on any of the links you see here uh, below on this page at cartooningcourses.com. And uh, yeah, guys, I hope you uh, get to reading. Um, I'm going to continue on reading a book now, maybe. I'll, I'll act like I am just to, to show you my acting skills again. Um, yeah, we will just turn to a random page here. and mm, Perfect. All right, guys, I'll see you next time.